if you saw last week's video, well then... See, things keep just coming up for us to be like, is this trail not meant to be? Hopefully the heater is not running too loud because it is 20 degrees outside. So I cranked that sucker up to keep me warm in here. And there we go, just like that. For you guys, I turned the heater off, but I also realized I actually had the white noise machine on from uh, when we were sleeping in here last night. So that was also making a decent amount of noise. Sorry about the light, it's kind of funky in here, a lot of shadows, but we made it back out to the trail. And guess what? So we first get out there to the trails and we just have this killer view. This little tiny house in the middle of this huge hill. I guess it snowed a couple of days prior, but there was still some snow left and it just looked absolutely stunning. And you just come over this hill and you just get this beautiful, gosh, this beautiful shot of the mountains just covered with snow. We've been trying to hit these trails for, this is the fourth time we're four trying. Weeks, yeah. We've tried three other times. The first four time. Four weeks. Four weeks, fourth time. Four score and weeks ago. Yep, that, that's it. Chris had her back the first time. Ellie had a little accident the second time. She's doing good. Boone's pooping right now. What a view to poop at, Boone. Uh, yes. The most scenic poop, Boone is then the, actually, he's probably had more scenic Oh, that's, yeah. <laughs> the third time, we had a car blocking the trail, so we could not make it into the trail at all. But we are out here today. Chris's friend Adam is here with us, and we are here to do some wheeling. So, there's Boone. Hey, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> Let's hop in and hit some trails. Down snow. Uh, when we're going downhill on snow, we need to really be sure. <laughs> The trail widens back out up here, but the downhill is going to be through where it gets tight, like in the trees and stuff. So I don't think there's going to be as much snow. It's way more rocky uh, once we come down. So we just had to back down this snowy pass here. Not too bad, but we had to back down for other people to come up, and now we came across somebody else coming down. Chris is trying to sneak their way around him real quick here. Dude, I can't, I can't find track. This is getting interesting here. So they're gonna back up further here. This Chris is trying to make his way around still. No, not yet, Kevin. Okay. Ah, you made it. They're pulling out. Keep coming straight. You got about four inches there. Keep coming. You're clearing it, it looks like. Yep, you're good. You eat in the snow? Don't eat the yellow snow. Why? Because <laughs> that's pee. 
<laughs> ah, cool weather. Oh, oh. Yep. Like, that has dirt in it. Get up there where it's clean snow. Oh, okay. Oh. Keep going further up. There's still dirt in that snow. Go further up. Hey, if you're watching this video, also don't forget to like and subscribe to help our channel grow so that we can keep doing adventures like this. Who are we kidding? I'm going to keep doing adventures like this whether you subscribe or not. So we pull into our campsite and there are these two giant moose. I didn't know what to do. I was so excited. Uh, Ellie was asleep in the car. Me and Laura got out and we just peeked around the, from the camper. We stayed close to the camper because we didn't want to mess with the moose. We didn't want to get in their way. They don't want to be in our way. We know they can be mean if they feel threatened and we were not going to threaten it. And if you hear Laura's little voice, it is the cutest thing ever. Look how close we are. The campsite is right here. Look. Those are some pretty moose. They have a nice pretty head. Do you call them antlers the moose? I still don't know. So like I said, we stayed close to the camper. We didn't want to bother the moose. We didn't want to disturb them. We just wanted to take it all in, but it was just so cool. It was amazing to be able to watch them just hang out that long right there by us. We pulled out the camera and had some good shots. Laura was just amazed. She was just frozen. She just was standing there just watching. She knew not to talk. She knew not to go towards them, but she just stood there just in awe of these massive creatures that were before us. So Maggie had actually worked a night shift the night before. Well, she was still asleep. So me and Chris decided to head on up and hit the trail, this, this pretty good obstacle, or this pretty fun trail that we found near where we were camping. Chris told me that he missed the shot because he was on the driver's side of the vehicle and as I was driving up the passenger wheel I got the wrong angle for the lid, but... <laughs> 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 
Oh. And it didn't feel too scary going up, but he missed the shot, so I said, I'll just back down it. Well, going backwards down it and that wheel lifting up is a whole lot different than going forwards and that wheel lifting up. So I was good. backing down, and you can see how much of the wheel lifts when I back down. And when I go pull forward again for Chris to get that shot, guess what he does? He's got the bottom of the camera right at the, like an inch or two above the tire, so you can't even see the gap and the wheels off the ground, which he doesn't even know this. So he's gonna find that when he watches this video that I'm giving a hard time about this. But it was fun. Me and Chris always have fun, even if it's a trail we've done a million times. We have so much fun going back and doing it again. Let's slip it off. <laughs> So the next morning we woke up and we went down to this little town called Nederland. The locals call it Ned. It's just west of Boulder, maybe a little bit southwest of Boulder. And it's this cute little town. It's uh, nothing huge, nothing special. It's a good place to spend the morning, especially if you have kids. We went and we got donuts and coffee and hot chocolate at this little tiny train car cafe. Oh, the name of it is the train cars coffee, I think. And it was just this cool little coffee shop made with a few train cars put together. Right next to that is a little carousel that is only like a dollar to ride, I think. So we had fun. We put the girls on there and rode around once. Hi! Across the parking lot, there's a grocery store and there's a little strip mall that's two or three stories tall with just some cool little stores in it. If I'm looking at the correct spot on Google Maps, which I'm not 100% sure I am, but I know it's in this building near this. I think it is the Wild Bear Nature Center. Um, they have just like this little location in there next to the police station, and it's just this cool little center. It's worth going to check out, especially if you have kids. Things that you can hold and the kids can hold and play with and touch and just do. They had an arts and crafts section, a library section. It was just a really cool little store. Did your tooth fall out? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Wait, do you see show? That bone? Yeah. I love this. Let's see, Chess. I love this. 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 I love You gonna color some grass around mommy's tree? Little These footprints? Look like... These are footprints. Oh, what kind of animals do you think they are? And these kind of look like bear footprints. Hey, look, what is this? And this kind of looks like a doggy footprint. Laura, what's this? That's a boot. Is that like the one that we saw the other day? Yep. Yep. What's Let's the? Go. What about these? Look. Is that one like a deer? Yes. Okay, now what's over here? Show us around. What else is there? Hey, this is a little library. I'm putting new pictures up. Oh, she's putting paper up for the next people that come. A little arts and crafts center. Come here, Ellie. Tell me, show me what's in here. Over here. What's in here, Ellie? Yeah, is it cute? Yeah. yeah. Oh, are we allowed to touch the turtle? No, that's right. We don't touch the turtle. Alright, what's in this one? Not turtle. And not turtle. Alright, hey, Ellie, what about over here? Oh, it's nice yeah, you can touch this stuff. Beaver chewed on some wood. A little coyote skull, some antlers, piece of wood, put that back in its bin. Alright, Ellie, what's over here? What's over here, Ellie? Psst, Ellie, over here. You're gonna look for some bones and seashells?
that tooth. You got some bones there. What's the bear say? Roar. Roar. Oh. All right, Ellie, tell me about that ladybug. Are you calling on you? Ellie, after you're done talking about it, can I have it, please? I want to have it. Maya. Get in the bag. 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 Get